For this video, I will show you how to evaluate all variables in a geometric sequence formula. The a sub n equal a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to the power of n minus 1. Let's go! Watch and learn! Let me present to you first the definition of a geometric sequence. Geometric sequence is a sequence in which each term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a constant number called the common ratio R. If we denote the first term A sub 1 and the common ratio R, then the terms of a geometric sequence are a sub 1 is the first term a sub 2 multiplied by a constant ratio r or read as a sub 2 times r is the second term next term a sub 3 multiplied by a constant ratio r raised to the second power, or read as a sub 3 times r square, is the third term. Observe in the second term of a sequence, the exponent of r is 1, while in the third term, the exponent of r is 2. So, the order of the exponent of r in the sequence is increasing. For the fourth term, the exponent of r is 3. And the n term of a geometric sequence can be determined by a rule a sub n multiplied by r raised to the power of n minus 1. Note that the exponent of r is 1 less than the number of terms. So, if you are determining a certain term, such as a sub 4 or fourth term, the exponent of r is 3. Here is how to determine the common ratio. From the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 2 is the first term. 4 is the second term, 8 is the third term, 16 is the fourth term, followed by 32, the fifth term, or the last term of a sequence. Divide the second term by the first term, or 4 divided by 2, the quotient is 2. Next, the third term divided by the second term or 8 divided by 4 the quotient is 2 then followed by 16 divided by 8 the quotient is still equal to 2 this is the steps on how to determine the common ratio observe that 2 is the common ratio by dividing the succeeding term by the preceding term. And if you wish to formulate a geometric sequence, just multiply the preceding term by the constant ratio to obtain the succeeding term. Example, if the first term or a sub 1 is 2 and the common ratio is 3, the first term which is 2, multiply it by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 is the second term. Then, 6 times 3 is 18. 18 is the third term. Next, 18 times 3 is 54. 
54 is the fourth term or the last term of a sequence. Then the numbers 2, 6, 18, and 54 is an example of a geometric sequence. You already know how to determine the constant ratio and able to formulate a geometric sequence. Now, I will present to you a guide on how to evaluate or determine the value of each variable in the geometric formula. The n term of a geometric sequence is a sub n equal a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to the power of n minus 1, where a sub n is the last term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and r is the constant ratio. Example A. Find the 10th term of a geometric sequence 2, 4, 6, and so on. So given A sub 1 or the first term is 2. N or the number of term is 10. R or the constant ratio is 2. Then, substitute the given in the geometric sequence formula. A sub N equal A sub 1 multiplied by R raised to the power of N minus 1. Since we are evaluating for the 10th term, Replace n with 10. This implies that we are solving for the 10th term of a sequence. Next, substitute 2 for a sub 1. Then, substitute variable r with 2, the given value. Then, substitute n with 10 the given number of terms. So we have 10 minus 1. A sub 1 is 2 times R raised to the power of 10 minus 1, which is equal to 9. Then, in 2 raised to the power of 9, this implies we have to multiply 2 9 times. So which is equal to 512. Next, a sub 10 equal 2 times 512 equal 1024. So the last term or the 10th term is 1024. Example letter B. Find R of a geometric sequence if a sub 1 equal 2 and the 10th term is 1024, given a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n equal 1024, and n or the number of terms equal 10. From the equation a sub n equal a sub 1, multiplied by r raised to the power of n minus 1, substitute 1024 in a sub n. a sub 1 is 2 times r raised to the power of 10 minus 1. Next, 1024 equal 2 times raised to the power of 9. To solve for r, divide both sides by 2. So 1024 divided by 2 is 512. On the other side, 2r raised to the power of 9 divided by 2 equal to r raised to the power of 9. Next step. Determine the ninth root of both sides. The ninth root of 512 is 2. And the ninth root of R 
raised to the power of 9 is r. So, the value of r or the constant ratio is 2. Or, you may determine the value of r by simplifying 512 into exponential form. 2 raised to the power of 9 is 512. Observe that 2 and r has the same exponent. So the value of r is 2. Example letter C. If a sub n equal 1024, n equal 10, and r equal 2, find the value of a sub 1. From the formula, a sub n equal a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to the power of n minus 1. Substitute 1024 for a sub n. Equal a sub 1 times 2. Then n is 10. Next, 1024 equal a sub 1 times 2. Then 1 times 9 is 9. So 2 now is raised to the power of 9. Next, 1024 equal a sub 1. Simplify. 2 raised to the power of 9 is 512. Then divide both sides by 512 to have the value of a sub 1. 1024 divided by 512 is 2. Then 512 a sub 1 divided by 512 is a sub 1. Therefore, the first term or a sub 1 is 2. Example letter D. In the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, what term is 1024? Given a sub 1 equal 2, a sub n equal 1024, r equal 2. In this problem, we will evaluate the variable n or the number of terms. From the geometric sequence formula, a sub n equal a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to the power of n minus 1 Substitute 1024 in a sub n. Equal a sub 1 is 2. Then r is 2 raised to the power of n minus 1. Next, divide both sides by 2. 1024 divided by 2 is 512. Then 2 times 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power of n minus 1. To determine the value of n, express both sides in exponential form. Both sides must obtain the same base to solve for n. So, 512 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 9. Observe that both sides has the same base. Then, we can now operate the exponent. So, we have 9 equal n minus 1. Add both sides with positive 1. To have the value of n. So 9 plus 1 equal n minus 1 plus 1. So 9 plus 1 is 10 equal to n. So the number of terms is 
ten. That's all for our video tutorial. We able to evaluate all variables in a geometric sequence formula, such as a sub n, the last term, a sub 1, the first term, n, the number of terms, and r, the common ratio. Thank you for watching. To God be the glory.